Hello, and welcome to the release video of version 17 of our Kipware T. Conversational CNC programming software for turning. Version 17 continues the Kipware tradition of raising the bar. In distancing ourselves from the underdeveloped and limited G code wizards, and now the so called conversational wizards. With the 2014 introduction of the only conversational 3D milling menus and the only conversational Y axis programming menus, we are proud that Kipware sets the standard in conversational CAM. Whether you are comparing Kipware to a CNC control base system, Fanuc, Okuma IGF, or even the lesser capable PathPilot from Tormac, or any other PC based G code generating conversational wizard, our real world shop floor programming experience shines through in Kipware. Always using best programming practices, Kipware makes full use of can cycles, cutter compensation, sub programming, and always gives the user multiple machining options. Features we as machinists and programmers always wanted working in the real world. As you view the new features I'm about to demo in Kipware T, you'll plainly see the difference between software designed by professional machinists as well as professional software engineers makes in the available capabilities. So let's dive right in and check out version 17 of Kipware T. Although there are numerous behind the code upgrades in version 17, we want to focus today on our game changing OD turning and ID boring menus. The first feature allows the user to define an unlimited number of diameters and faces for cutting. The second powerful feature allows the user to define any chamfer or radius on any of the three corners. Corners 1 and 3 can have any radius defined by the user or any chamfer at any angle in any distance defined by the user. And corner 2 can have any radius defined by the user. Here again, Tipware separates itself from the limited conversational wizards that allow for only minimal corner breaks and only machine those corner breaks on the finish cycle. Kipware allows for any size chamfer or radius and all chamfers or radiuses are included in the roughing operation. Once the shape is defined, machining can be either in a turning operation or a facing operation and the user can define either rough turning, finish turning, rough facing or finish facing or any combination of the four. When all the inputs are in, and because we're machinists, the user has the option of outputting either a longhand G-code program, or, if your machine has the capability, outputting either a turning or facing can cycle formatted program. In either output, cutter compensation with the entry and exit move is automatically included because any machinist worth his weight knows that machining chamfers or radii without cutter comp will result in an incorrect part. And as with all Kipware conversational cycles, once the program is created, the cycle automatically saves itself. So next week, if you come back and you need to make a change, you can simply load the cycle back into the Kipware conversational form and make any changes that required. Keep in mind, that everything that we've showed you for ID turning is available for ID boring as well. We have a saying around here at Kentech Inc. It's not always rocket science, but it's not kindergarten either. When it comes to CNC programming, that saying means that not every job requires a complex and expensive CAD CAM system. Underdeveloped and simplistic G-code conversational wizards are ultra-simplistic and lack any programming capabilities that really suit the real world. The options that we've just shown you in our turning and boring menus in version 17, unlimited diameters, any corner definitions, multiple types of machining operations, and G-code or can cycle output. 
all illustrate the power that comes from professional machinists creating professional software. So why settle? Go pro! Be a pro! With Kipware Conversational.